Well, good day. Today I'm going to talk to you about entering the first two sections of our quote, which will be quote details and the quote census. The data you need to provide for the quote details are the group name, the zip code, the SIC code, and you need to be able to select an effective date. If you've previously quoted this group in our census, in our system, you are able to start typing the group's name. And when you find the group and you click on it, it's going to bring in the data from that quote. So it already knows my SIC code. It knows what zip code I'm in. Um, our system does support multi-county zip codes. So if you have one of those rare instances where your group's zip code happens to be across two zip codes, which can affect rating depending on which area they're in, our system does support that. Um, you can go ahead and select your effective date. And once you've selected your effective date, you can view which carriers are available for quoting for that effective date. When searching for an SIC code, if it had not already been filled in, you can type in numbers directly if you know the, the SIC code, or you can type in the name. And select from the list once you've found it. Once you've completed your group detail page, you can move on to the next page, which is the census. And since I'd already selected a previously quoted group, my census is already in the system. If, you're, if you were quoting a new group and your census was not already in the system, there are a couple ways you can enter the data. You can enter them one by one, but that takes a long time. Uh, most people have their data in some kind of digital format. There is the ability to download our census and take a look at it. Our template requires that you set up your employees in a specific way, meaning each employee and their family gets their own ID number. Here you can see my employee, the fifth employee on my census and all of his family are labeled with the employee ID number five. This keeps them as a family group. And then over in the key covered section, you can enter them as employee, spouse, and then dependent, E, S, or D, or you can use one for employee, two for spouse, and three for dependent on the key covered column. This is the critical feature here. So if I were to go ahead and upload that census. The system will import that data into your census for you. We also accept Health Connect census templates and Ease export templates. So if you can, if you have your data in Ease and you export their data, our census import template will work for that. There are a few things that that are website will point out to you. It will let you know if you have any employees that are over 65 on your census. It'll, it'll give you a little warning there. Or if any of the children are over 26, it'll give you a warning there. There are conditions where that can happen if you're a legal state guardian of them. Um, so they will show those, those warnings to you if they come up on your census. There are a few other features you can do. Um, you can mark an employee for life only. This will take them out of the medical quoting, but they will be included in any life products that you are quoting in the system. You can also mark the person as COBRA. This will take them out of any calculations having to do with employee versus employer premium, and they will get their own special output page for the COBRA plans that are offered them. The system does allow you to sort by last name or first name, if you prefer, uh, simply by clicking the sort on button and it, it resorts your census into the, into the correct order that you want it to. Uh, adding an employee is very simple. You can either click the add, you, you can click the add button and then simply
add your data. Once again, multi-county zip does work for this employee too, because it would affect their rates. Adding a spouse or dependent is very simple. Simply click the plus to add a spouse and enter their information or click dependent as many times as needed to add as many dependents as you need. To remove them, simply click the red X button and you can remove those people from your census. Once you've finished with your census, you simply click next to move on to the next. Oops, missing birth date. If you're missing something in the census, you can use the missing data button to find your missing data. And then once your data is completed, you can go to the next step. And that's how you enter your quote details and your quote census information. 